Because you want the video. Look at that. The recording the started. Video. This is a Here man. We go. Is, look how flexible Wise, Wise is totally coachable. Uh-huh. You fall into the category of what we call somebody that is completely coachable. And you take an idea and instantly put it into, into operation. Great job. Quick implementation. It is well am- it's amazing how many small business owners <laughs> just couldn't do that. And you just like that. You rock. Yeah. It, it was, there, was no, there was no other choice. You had none. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, 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 you're absolutely right. I, it, I'm having video content is just as good as having the audio. It's even better because people get to see it. So, yes. Yeah. See, we record ours as video, and then now we share it on our YouTube channel, and we syndicate it as video. Uh, we upload it to our to Anchor, Anchor FM, uh, and it yep. just captures the audio only. So we have you both, know, options. both options, uh, but we would prefer to start with the video, start with the raw video. That just it just makes sense from there. Well, here we go with the video. We we don't have the intro to the show, but totally yeah, all right. It's, it's fine. It's fine. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is Wise Al Hefe. <laughs> you are listening to a radio show where he interviews regular piece of people about the challenges they have and how they've overcome. There, how's that? Hey, that works. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, welcome to. How <laughs> <sighs> to have fun? But that. see, I, this is what I love about this is, is that. My sh- I just have come and have great conversations and just have a good time and and learn in the process. So it's 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 fun for me to actually have these kind of conversations where people could just let their hair down and just have a good time. <laughs> then he goes to, to the wife and says, "Do you know these people I had on?" Oh yeah, my goes, god, oh, man, you should have seen that. <laughs> well, the- <laughs> they made me record it. They oh, told no, me no. I had my a wife, good face for video. It's funny. Of- it's funny because she does not listen to my show. She supports You're me. Kidding. She, 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 she's behind me 100%. Well, you have to understand, she goes, her logic is, I speak to you enough at home. Uh huh. I don't need to hear you at work. <laughs> like, wow. Like, okay. See, we, we, huh. we work together. Yeah, we run our business together. So the, so the conversation, you know how the conversation when you get home is, how did your day go? And then you have to have that conversation out. We don't have that conversation. I know how Sharon's day was based on the number of curse words I hear her <laughs> yell from her part of the office and vice versa. <laughs> she knows how my day has been going by the number of times I swear. And today's been a really good day. I, I, I think I've only heard one, one F, one S, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> and no GDs. Oh, man. No, she, uh, she's not. She's very supportive of me, though. She... When I started podcasting, because prior to I have been, I've only been podcasting for over a year, and prior to that, I would come home from work, and I would get on my PlayStation and game for like two, three hours, yeah, and Decompress. that's it, waste time and waste time. And then when I started podcasting, and I really found that this is something I really enjoyed and I'm very passionate about, that kind of just went to this the. She was like, I know you're serious about what you're doing because your PlayStation is over there collecting dust. Wow. Your your, your remotes are probably not charged. Nothing. <laughs> and and I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't have time to do. I don't and I don't miss it because I'm having such a great time podcasting and meeting all the great people that I'm meeting and and I'm learning every day. I'm yes. And this year, this year alone, I've learned how to edit podcasts market them every i'm learning everything on the fly so have any do you have any questions i mean you've got uh, yes. you've got we we I have two experts on yes day. how can we have, how can we best help you today that's always the first question <laughs> we ask our clients how can we best help you today so wise how can we best help you today well what's a where's a good avenue to begin i don't know uh social well, media how how important is social media it depends. It, yeah, it, that all depends on your audience. <laughs> yeah, you know, is your audience looking for you on social media? Are they looking to hire you on social media? And and let's start one one step further. We with every tactic with every client, we start with. Let's begin with the end in mind. What's your goal? 
And because if you if you don't know your goal and you pull that arrow back and shoot it, then you don't know if you hit your goal. Or you don't have no target. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, our first question with a when, with a coaching client. In fact, we we start had a new coaching client this morning. Question one. Actually, you always ask the question, so you, you should ask. Me. <laughs> what do you want your life to look like? Right. We want to make sure that we're helping you craft the business that will give you the life you want, not get so focused on the business that we're crafting this perfect business. And then you come back and go, well, that's great. But now life sucks. Yeah. I mean, we, we <laughs> look, look, entrepreneurs, we all start our businesses so that we don't have to clock in, clock out. And oddly enough, we all work more hours than we did when we clocked in and clocked out, <laughs> but we enjoy it more. But we started our business to serve our to serve our life to make our life better. So we we want to make sure that your business isn't running your life. So the question comes back to, what's your goal for your for your podcast? What's your goal for your business? Oh well, actually I actually I said so I started a production company, and I got my real I got my first client today. Yes. Congrats. Do, do, by the way, on your soundboard, do you have the F1 button, which is the uh, audience the chair? The applause. <laughs> there we go. I know. <laughs> I know what victory you're using. Okay. <laughs> we were we used to do our, our podcast at a at a radio at a, a terrestrial studio. And we would walk in and I was not allowed to touch the board except for that one button. If I want I he said, see that button? You can may press that one and that's it. So that's the F1. Good job. Congratulations. That's, well, that's, not, okay. that's not the F1. That's the Roadcaster Pro, which ah. is, I, I don't I don't know if you, it's probably the holy grail for podcasters. So, so but Good well job. done. So you got your first one. That, that's pretty tremendous. Yes. And well, it's, and it's, cool. it's, and the thing is, she was a guest on my podcast. Oh my gosh. So... One of the one of your goals for your podcast is to have people on that need production assistance. Yes. You know, we have small business owners on our podcast and some of them need coaching. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so look at the look at the track you're look at the track you're on. Yeah. Um, you should have probably more musicians on it. Well, what kind of production, what kind of post-production do you want to do? Um eventually I'm because right now I'm just focusing on just do helping on on doing the podcasts and YouTube shows and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but eventually it might lead to me going getting into music. Might get other things. I have a couple of friends who are developing films, so it, it's leading to so many different avenues. Like it's not just the podcast alone. Me myself as a brand, I'm getting offered voiceover work. People are they're saying, hey, you have an amazing voice. You do. Cool. Yeah, saying, Would you like to try try something out? And I'm I'm like, okay, why not? Yep. I mean, yeah, it's not James Earl Jones, but it's pretty awesome. Well, <laughs> you know, the new is, ask, really. ask him again first thing in the morning, though. I no kidding. How, how do you sound first thing in the morning? <laughs> oh man, I, I sound deeper that. than what I do now. So yeah. you, Plus you the have that white. Very you had that Barry yes. White. Her Barry Barry White song came out the other day. I'm like, oh man, damn. Yeah, that, that's what I get a lot. A lot of people say Barry White. Yeah, I I, I hear it. Could, couldn't be could, can't be much better than that. Oh no, yeah. I'm, I don't. I don't I'll take that any time of the day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> any, any day that ends in a while. <laughs> I, I don't have that voice. Mine's mine. Uh, I, I know that when I listen to the audio, uh, it's really oh man still too nasally yeah whatever in fact give me can i can I have my drink here let me see if i can let me see if i can do it <laughs> plus i would i'd have to switch off mics we're using our our snow snow globe mic not our studio mics today hmm hey wise how you doing <laughs> i can bring it down <laughs> give me a little time give me a little a uh, little liquid in there and i can bring that down and we can have our fm voices <laughs> W-I-Z-E-F-M And it's it's funny that you do that Because I do have an internet radio station Oh It's the best 
fabulous. So we actually, I had my uh, first live, right now we're playing music and stuff, but I had my first live show uh, about a week ago. And mm-hmm. it was a, 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 it was a friend of, um, of a friend. He's a, he's a hip hop artist, but he's more of, of a conscious hip hop artist. He's more about empowering the people. And so I felt like this isn't something that's being played right now. It's all about the yeah. bling bling and, and material okay. stuff. So to have him on and come and, and play six, seven of his tracks, and explain and talk about what he was, what his state of mind was when he was writing this song, or what the song was, what it means to him. It was a great experience because it was his first time, his any of his music was played on the, in, on any kind of radio. Any, wow! So when he told me this, I was like, "This is why I do this. This is why I want to do this. Is to give people an opportunity like that where." They can tell their they can tell their friend, hey, listen, I'm gonna be on the, this radio station. Come check it out. And to be so able to not- be that first station to play his music, I was like blown away. That'd be a great show. You could get, oh, man. Instead, we wouldn't call it one hit wonders. We'd call it first time wonders. This is their first time playing. Well, I, 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 kind of, I call it I call it a artist spotlight, and um, it was just because I'm I'm actually talking to this poet who's going to come on and read some of his work. I have a, a group, these two, uh, two young ladies who they do uh, EDM music and some house music. I have another young lady, uh, Katie Louise. She does uh, pop music. So me do, and I've met all these people through my podcast. So like having the podcast has opened up so many different avenues for me and in and in, in what I want to do. And so it's just it's like, it seems like everything's falling into place because of where I'm at and me being receptive and, and just being aware of, of my surroundings. Yeah. Are you willing to or able to host other shows on your, on your station? Because that's a revenue. Of story. course. I mean, that, that, yes. that's a revenue. I'm working. I'm, I'm actually, yes, I, now that we talk about that, I have uh, another another former guest. She's going to sign on to the radio station. She's going to help have me. She's going to actually pay me to produce it and mm-hmm. and help her get it going and, and put it on the station. So, Fabulous. yeah, it's so, it's so many different ways. There's so many different ways that things are just happen. Like, I don't have to monetize the podcast itself. I'm finding other ways. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, our we don't monetize our podcast, but we use it as a as a marketing tool. It, it, it's and, and that's always been the case uh, when when we weren't when we were more us talk for an hour versus we interview people for seven minutes, 21 seconds. Uh, we would reward our coaching clients with ads. And I mean, it, we, we found a lot of ways to use it as a as a marketing tool. Yeah, and yeah, there's absolutely I, that's how I've been able able to. Some people like I've had um, people. Hey, can you just read the script for me and here's some, we'll work out some barter or some agreement, and it, and it's not always ha- it doesn't always necessarily have to be money. It's something I might need help with, and I I, I'm, I barter. I'm I'm part of the I know the barter system. <laughs> Yeah, we're part of a barter platform as well, so totally get that. Do you uh, do you pay, or are you looking at paying the ASCAP fees so you can use whatever music? Or are you- I already, I have my licensing. Yes, I have my licensing. Wow. Have, so, yeah. The, the, the question comes That's back. An investment. The the question comes back. Uh, I, I'm just asking this question out of the blue. Um, if someone had a couple hundred episodes of a radio show that that had. Um, all sorts of music. For example, uh, the intro was had Van Halen underneath it and used, oh, I don't know, Leonard Skinner going out to breaks. This is purely theoretical. And came back with Call Me Maybe and ended with, you know, Dropkick Murphys at the end of the show. That's something you'd be able to host. 
Yes, yep. I have my ASVAP yeah. license. Yes. Yeah, because we here's what we did. We had we had all of these all this music. Because the radio station also paid the ASVAP. Uh huh. It was great. My fees. It was awesome. And we paid Sharon's brother, who is a an Emmy Award winning sound editor, to strip all the music out. It's not as fun. I like listen. You know, I like. Uh, you know, when it's love starts by Van Halen and it's cut in and a minute 13 later, we knew we had to start because there was going to be blanks, blanks uh, sound after that. Blank air. So, okay, yeah, yeah, those those sound really. We got to chat about that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Put the Flash episode back oh, my God, I could. We, we interviewed <laughs> we interviewed one guy. His name was Flash Shelton. So. Every, we, we worked it out with our engineer that every time we said the guy's name, he used the queen clip, you know, flash. Uh, uh, yeah. And every time we, we made sure we said his name over and over yeah. and over. And so flash, tell me. And the music was good. Kenny. <laughs> and but Sharon, it drove my brother crazy. Yeah, Sharon's brother got to that episode. And he goes, really? <laughs> <laughs> you really want me to edit this out? No, 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 no don't bother. Well, it wouldn't Let's be as fun. Right. Nope. So, all right. So, obviously, this is what you do. You help small businesses market and brand themselves. We do. But what? Okay. So, after 243 episodes of doing your podcast, yeah, yeah, I just decided to go. What? It just just hey, we're going video. Oh, no, we didn't make. We, well, no, here that, <sighs> we went 243 weeks in a row. Yeah, and it, we're we're now November of 2019. Thought, you know, why don't we take a, why don't we take a couple months off? We'll come back in 2020, and we we put a date of like March. And <laughs> as we were getting ready, uh, you might have heard there was this thing that happened in the U.S. and pretty much everything shut down. So yeah. we had to we had to pivot the marketing plans of oh, several dozen clients. That kind of took precedent. Yeah, took it was a little busy. A little bit. I don't know. You know, people said, I'm stuck at home doing nothing. Really? Come out of our house. Yeah. <laughs> so we, one of the things that we said, we, we do a Monday afternoon mastermind call. In fact, just before we came on here, we were on our call with our clients. So that's why, you know, I'm out of words for that. And we said, all right, one of the things that is going to happen this year is more people are going to be watching podcasts and listening to podcasts a lot more. So, uh, all of you need to start getting on more podcasts and we're looking across our screen and it's like blank stares, like more than blank. It was, it was more like panicked. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to what do, do what now? How do I, and, and look, this is the question. Number one question we get all the time. How do I do that? And the other question is how do I do, how, you know, how to get there faster. So, all right, ah, here we go. We, we needed to teach them all how to be on a podcast you know you don't the the you don't ask us a question and we don't talk for an hour right it, it should be a conversation yeah. you have to get used Absolutely. to that so we said all right here's what we're going to do we're going to create we're going to switch our podcast and it's going to be called the marketing checklist viewcast because we were also teaching and we still teach that your audience maybe not you specifically wise but our clients they want to see more and more video. Yeah. So part of their conundrum, the client's conundrum is, well, you're telling me they want to see more video, but what am I going to do a video on? I don't even know what to do. Let us show you. So we could multi-purpose by teaching them how to do a podcast with video while yeah. doing a viewcast. So we created a dozen questions. We said, all right, everybody answer these questions, right? Write down your answers and understand it has to fit in a seven minute, 21 second time frame because our anniversary is July 21st. And most people's attention spans take up about 10 minutes. Yeah. And so we were teaching them how to get their story in in under 10 minutes. We wanted something clever. So 721. So the other way that that works is they, they now can look for podcasts where their audience would be listening. They can connect with that podcaster and say, hey there, here's my background. Here's why I think I'm a good fit for your show. And here's some of the questions you could ask me as well as my answers. 
So as a podcaster, when you're handed your show, <laughs> so really all I have to do is go down the list. <laughs> okay. When's a good time? <laughs> so that's, that's what we did with our podcast. We were training our clients how to do that. And we figured, all right, we'll just, we'll just so we start. Broadened it. Yeah. So we broadened it. Now we've done, I think we have 40 episodes posted and another 10 or so recorded and I have a bunch and, I have to schedule. And you're going to be scheduled soon because we want you on ours. Oh, I would love to be on this show. It's awesome. it's fun. We have a good time. Uh, listen, for me, I love being a guest because that saves me a lot of work. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> right? We, we have clients, in fact, in today's conversation with on, on our mastermind call, there were a couple that said that they wanted to start a podcast. Have huh. you ever been a guest on a podcast? We knew the no. answer to that. You should never well, even been on one. Then why are you going to go straight from nothing to starting your own? Why don't you go get your feet wet and see what it's like to be on the other side of the desk first. And see if you even enjoy it. And then let's talk about starting your own podcast. Y yeah, And it's just... easier to be a guest, right? I mean, I'm, it's so much easier to be a guest. So much easier, yes. <laughs> it's... We get to just go up and talk? <laughs> It's my dream. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually well, I'm lining up a couple of shows because I, I I've been on quite a few. Like, well, then within the last year, I've probably been on thirty shows. I know I can probably do more, but it's it's more me just creating more content i'm just recording a crazy amount right now would you, would you like to be introduced to a few cool podcasts sure I would love good to answer <laughs> we'll make that connection we we were just interviewed for one show she's based in in london so oh. much fun uh another couple of guys um they're called the the 30 minute hour awesome show you would you'd fit on their their platform beautiful it just works they're awesome um there's a bunch of really good ones yeah you might want to go on our site and there's a we have the view cast listed right where our view guests but the drop down is places where we've been interviewed like that's where this yeah. show yeah. will be right so some so of you, you are actually watching this on our website that's right looking ahead <laughs> there are some people watching this on our website right now how very meta. Yeah, so you, really meta. You could go there and see where else you've been interviewed. And anyone that you want to be introduced to, just let us know. Hey, yeah. I saw you were interviewed by Kay. I want to be introduced. Let us know. We'll introduce you. Happy to do that. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Gladly. It's all about networking, man. Yeah, it <laughs> is. And the podcasting community is amazing. They've I've met some great people, some people that I will that I consider real good friends. I've one of my partners, she she's like family now. We've been working with her for for under a year, and she's she's family. She she does all the website work that we need. It's like she fit in perfectly with us. She that's awesome, man. It's wonderful when the stars align, right? No kidding. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. But it, it all it all began with a shift in in. An attitude, basically, because I had been afraid of starting my podcast. I had been making excuses. One mm -hmm. of them was, I sound horrible. Well, who would want to listen to me? Aww. And 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 wow. it was just me like that, making yeah. up excuses. It was just me. Yeah, it was just me, me making excuses to why not to start the podcast. You know, and when we, uh, and when yeah. that little incident that happened in in March, that thing. That yeah. thing the hiccup. And I got furloughed from my from my job. I decided just to press record, and here we go. You know, I'm sitting at home. Yeah. Later. Why not? Yeah, we um, we had been talking all of 2019. Yeah, we really should do a couple of evergreen webinars. Have them on the site so people that are looking for coaching might stumble across it, and you know they they go to the webinar and. Uh, we'll have, we have to write the we have to write the the script, and then we got to practice doing it, and we never seem to have the time to do it. And all of a sudden, 
wow, we're not traveling around the country this month. You know, we were on before COVID, we're on a different stage in a different city every month. So we didn't really need to do webinar stuff because we were in front of live audiences. And then? And then? Not so much. <laughs> so last year we did over 100 webinars. You know, I just repurposed a bunch of slides and, and we were off to the races because mother of invention, man, you know, we, the studio that, that we're in, in our, that's off of our house, uh, it was set up for just audio. We moved everything around, added a black backdrop and here we, here we went, you know, put a, a different computer in here. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? You, you know, sit home and not do anything. No, it's 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 funny because I did release a couple of videos for YouTube, and I didn't I didn't have a green screen. I had um because this where I'm at now was my daughter's bedroom, so huh? it's pink. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so Let well, no, it's not all pink. At least three of the walls is pink, and the other pink, and the other wall is yellow. But that's gonna be the wall one. that the wall that was behind me is pink. Uh -huh. So. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm recording video. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to really get a green screen. So I invested in the <laughs> green screen, and here we go. <laughs> you know, the, we 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 have an actual. This is actual black cloth. We could switch it to white or green. Uh, we just prefer the black. It, it for most of the time in here, uh, it works the best. You know for our lighting situation. Uh, if we were doing this a little bit later on at night, uh, we have to switch our lights around, and, but we're all right. You know, first world problem, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're, waiting, we're waiting for her to move out so I can move downstairs, move my studio downstairs. <laughs> wow. How old is she? Oh, she's old enough. We uh, She's downstairs with <laughs> my grandson. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say she's like 16 or I, 17. I was waiting for her. No, she's old. She's eight. Older. She's, <laughs> she's, <older enough>. eight. <laughs> no. she's old enough to go. Huh. Well, you could, you know, find her a boyfriend or, yeah. Well, she has a baby daddy, so she um they're working on getting a place. So hopefully soon. Uh, how joyous in life! How joyous in life! Yes, yes. I'll miss my grandson, but that's that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> grandson, the grandson can say, but you can go get a place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can stay. He can definitely stay. Wow. That's life. Uh, yeah, it's it's he's yeah he spoil I spoil him. <laughs> well, of course. That's the way it's supposed yeah. to work. Yeah, it is. He's right now, he's actually right now uh, watching uh, Larry and Harry, Harry and Larry. And I don't know, I don't know them yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, Children's First Channel. So, but he's, he's, so he'll turn, he turns one. He doesn't no, watch Elmo. He, he likes Elmo, but uh, I love he turns Elmo. one. Elmo like he turns birthday. one next month. Oh my goodness. Oh, Elmo. <laughs> See, Elmo is there. And Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse is a little different. You have to bring Mickey Mouse down a little. Mickey Mouse is lower, but Elmo's up here. Wow, that hurts. That hurts after a long day. <laughs> mm. Oh, I, I used to do that for a goddaughter um, on the phone. Her mom would put, you want to talk to Elmo? And it'd be, thanks. Hi. <laughs> This is Elmo. How was your day? <laughs> this is not Elmo. Elmo had no, fun. <laughs> Elmo went to the park. Yeah. Yeah. 40 oh, minutes geez. later. Thanks. <laughs> he has a, he has a yeah, but uh, what shirt? Oh, the chair? You have the, same, you have the same chair I do in my office. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got a massager and everything. <laughs> oh, I don't have that one. We'd have to no. upgrade you. Yeah, I'd have to upgrade. Yeah, she let me she let me upgrade, so nice. She figured, hey, you're doing something productive. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> no, nah, but she I love my wife. She's right now she's actually um in the Dominican Republic uh taking care of some family business over there. Wow. But she she'll be back tomorrow. Well, she's not Wednesday she's not morning. Scouting, she's not scouting for shortstops for a major league team. Oh. Uh, no, well, no. Hopefully, uh, the Yankees do sign that that shortstop that's supposed to be coming out of the Dominican Republic. Yes, I am a Yankee fan. Oh, let's see what I got here. Wait a minute. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to flip this up. You're about to lose your audience. Yeah. So we're okay. All right, we can have that conversation now. We can't read your hat. Oh, we can't read the hat. I can't read your hat. No. There, get closer. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, actually, wait, I'm gonna see. Oh, but wait. wait. We live like, in the gift store. Yeah. Wait. 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 Um, I have. We've got. We have. We have the Scrabble game. Yeah, it helps to turn around. There you go. We have. Um, we have a Yankee Red Sox chessboard. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So you, you're gonna make me. You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me. You're gonna actually make me uh, reveal my gonna, stadium. There we go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna see how big a fan you are. Did you go to London for the London series? Oh, you mean the massacre? Yeah, where we got our ass. Excuse me. Yeah, you, you mean the massacre? And did you us? No, did th you this go? question is fine. <laughs> did, did you? Did go? I go over to London? No, yeah. I didn't go to London. And you ain't a fan. No. You're not that big a Yankee. Did you know? Uh huh. He did. Oh yeah, dude. I got the bobbleheads. We've got awesome. Too, but not, oh yeah. Not you, got, you, you got to enjoy the massacre. Oh, that it was, was ridiculously horrible. It was. <laughs> oh yeah. Look I, at the sports I was talk it. on the Real Wise show. Yeah, it was. Um, it was horrible. Uh, we had a really good time. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Well, oh well, I'm actually rooting for the Rays today. I, actually, it's it's hard because we're ahead of you right now. We made up ten games in less than a month. Oh no, kidding! A month or so. Oh God, and they're, they're on a they're on a tear. Well, no, they they've lost the last two, but. That's okay. Can't win them all. 13 before that. I mean, it's, 13 it's, in a row, yeah. Killer. You know, I, I am, I am, this century has made it much easier to be a, me, to be a Red Sox fan. I'm sure it has. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> having, I know that having, won I'm three, no having won three in the last, what, 20, 20 something years? I, I, four. Yeah. Okay. I am I am no longer stressed. I can I can now watch a game without it being life or death. He still uh, curses. Don't I get, still curse. Don't get us wrong here. Uh, I his name the 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 there is a a middle name between the words Bucky and Dent. There is a there is a modifier. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but I, uh, I I'm okay with it. I have. Um, Bucky F and Dent, yes. Exactly. <laughs> and and what's the name of your manager? Where <laughs> yeah. Ugh, that one. Yeah. O three hurt. O three really Oh, hurt. you mean you mean Aaron F Aaron, and Dent. Yeah. Yeah. He, that hurt <laughs> that hurt more. So yeah. Yeah, but that came back and won him hey, back. I won it the next year. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Plus, we beat the Dodgers yeah. in eighteen, and having, and having grown up in Los Angeles, I'm I enjoyed that almost as much. So, how do you grow up in Los Angeles and become a Red Sox fan? Well, I didn't. No, no, I was born. I, okay, here, let's let's turn it on a second. Click. I was born. I was born in uh, Framingham. Twenty. Oh, 20 minutes oh my of, God! Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> like that. No, no, do not do it. Do not do. Please, no. And oh I, no, and, no, and no, no, about, no, uh, no, five, no, five, car. no, 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 no. We, we packed. We packed the cab. No, parked the car. We no, no. And I grew up in California and lose lost the accent almost immediately. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> now, but imagine 
you're a you're a kid you're a celtic fan growing up in laker town oh yeah during during the magic worthy showtime kareem showtime years when len bias dies and your team sucks that was yeah, that I got was, old quickly yeah that was worse than almost anything the yankees could have inflicted upon me the, oh the listen bigger, yeah I, I suffered during the 80s, man. Being a Yankees fan was horrible. You yeah, we traded top every point. top prospect we had for for supposedly superstars that just couldn't cut it in New York. Yeah. And it wasn't suspended. until Steinbrenner got suspended. It yeah. wasn't until Steinbrenner got suspended that we was able to, to keep some of our so, prospects. So here's what happened um, about three weeks ago before, before you won 13 in a row. Um, we live in Sedona and, and we get people from all over. And I was putting gas in the car. Guy gets out of the car and is in his stripes. He's got the hat and the stripes. So um, I, I had a conversation with him. Hey, you know. And the, the string of, of words that he said about Brian Cashman got to fire him. They all got to go high. I mean, and I, I wish I could talk to that guy today to see if he's feeling any better. So why is, what do you think, Brian, do you think Brian Cashman should be re-upped as your general manager? Oh, I love Brian Cashman. Brian Cashman. I've experienced championships on the Brian Cashman. Exactly. I, I, I am grateful for Brian Cashman. See, I am, I'm, listen, I am a diehard Yankee fan, yes, but I'm also a realist. I know we're not going to win every year. I say we will win every year, but I know we're huh? not going to win every single year. But you know, at least you know, I've, been able, I've been able Honestly, to enjoy five championships in my lifetime. Exactly. We, we have a friend changing sports completely. We have a friend that claims that the oh, Philadelphia yeah. Eagles win every single year. No he matter is, what, who won the who won the uh, who won the Super Bowl in 1985? The Eagles. Every what about time. what about 19? <laughs> what about 92? The Eagles. Wow. Who won okay. last year? Who's gonna win this year? The Eagles. The same answer. <laughs> same answer. One word. So uh, I, I I was born and raised in Brooklyn, but now I live in in the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. So the, qu- so the question I've, is, I, Nick- I was surrounded by. Huh? Knicks or you know which which New York basketball team do you get to root? Oh, I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Knicks fan. Wow. I, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Brooklyn boy, but I'm a Knicks. Wow. fan. Wow. See that that's always been the comeback being a being a Celtic fan. It's like how them Knicks doing, you know? So <laughs> actually, they they're pretty good this year. So I can't. I, I was oh, so happy. Nice. Look, yeah. I was so happy. I was like, oh my! And they did like nobody thought they would win twenty. Twenty. They they were. They said at the beginning they was like, oh, they win. if they win twenty two games, that's a lot of games. Yeah, they did well. They they, they ended yeah, up they, the fourth seed in the, in the East. It I is, have no complaints. It is. It's it's amazing. Now here's a question: If you've gotten older, has sports? Um, do you take it as seriously as you used to when you were yeah. younger? Yeah, in that. The, the testosterone level gets, we get, that, a, some of that disappears. And well, I think that life get you know, the, yeah. when you're younger, you don't, the your your issues with life are different. Yeah, would you rather you know, the Yankees. You now you've got a kid and a grandkid and a wife, right? I mean, there are other things that are like, okay, yeah. whether or not they win this particular game is not nearly as important no. as it was. You know, would you rather the Yankees win the World Series or you get to spend an entire week with your grandson, you know, or a year with your grandson having fun? Oh, having fun. Because that's a memory yeah. he'll have for the rest of his yeah. life. Like, See, exactly. it's, it, it's, it, it, yeah. Perspective, it, it's right? Perspective. It's all about perspective. You know, yeah, no. it, it's like, okay, I've, I've now, I've seen the Celts, you know, the Red Sox win fourth. Okay, I'm, 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 per, I get it. I totally understand. I'm happy. Not that you don't want them to no, ever win again. Not at all. <laughs> of not course at all. not. I don't. No. I don't want them to win again. But hey, but that's happens, that's part of just being. A fan. And, and you know what? But it, I, it it pains me. But I was happy I won in 2018 because I'm a Joey Cora fan. I'm Puerto Rican, so 
I, I, I root for for my fellow countrymen. So, yeah. I'll tell you, I, man. He's. I, I won't. He's, say, I, I won't. Yeah, I'm. You won't say I, that, that out loud. Me to see it. That, that that hurt. That hurt. To, that hurt to Look, say that. We we just <laughs> went. We just went to the. We just went to the Hall of Fame. And Cooperstown, you yes. know who's being. You know who's being inducted. Their entire gift store is flooded with number two jerseys. Yes. Yeah. Now, truth be told, when Mariano, the year before he was going to retire, when he hurt his, his, his knee, I was very pissed because I didn't want him to go out that way. So I was very glad he came back. And I was overjoyed when he was the very first player that, that had 100% of the vote to get into the Hall of Fame. Because my thought was, and I said this with Jeter as well, anyone who didn't vote for those two to go in the Hall of Fame should not be allowed to go to a baseball game, let, alone, let alone write about a baseball game. Because you know, in, in those it's years a- when A-Roid would come up, it would be, you know, if if there's a chance to win the game, I would rather it be Aroid coming up than Jeter because I was much more afraid of Jeter. You know, guy on second, Jeter's going to hit a, a, a looping single to, to right field game. It just, whereas whereas Aroid wants to hit it out, so he's trotting around the, you know, there's a difference. So when oh, when no. those two got voted in, I was I was overjoyed by it. it was like you know absolutely respect and i and i put it on our social media pages hey respect and congratulations to me it was do that again when they get voted in the, the, yeah i will oh when well they are in you know they are in they're they'll yeah <laughs> no I, to me it was mariano and jita just they represented the game yeah the way it's supposed they, to they didn't they're they're awesome ball they're awesome ball players just incredible and and the fact that we did that to that we got into the 04 world series by beating mariano that just made it so much yeah. nicer oh still yeah, down old oh, there come back yes oh, uh, god that, that was good in. but again yeah. he deserved to have 100 percent of the vote and he deserved to be the first you know it, there should have been others the that were the yeah. first but for him to be the first yeah Absolutely. And again, if you didn't vote for him, you shouldn't be allowed to write about baseball. You got to think about it. He dominated with one pitch, the cutter. Oh, yeah. And, and he, he could have said, I'm, I'm about to throw you an off-speed pitch, and it's going to go on the outside half the plate. Here it comes. <laughs> Still couldn't hit it. So, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, but that's uh, enough, enough, enough. Yankee Red yeah. Sox. Welcome to base. Welcome to sports talk. <laughs> this, this, every, no, this... every now and then, every now and then, our podcast would turn into sports talk because our our engineer was was a Cubs fan. Oh. So every now and then, it, it would degenerate, and Sharon would be doing exactly what she did here. Do I have to be here for this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> But guys, I appreciate you coming on, man. Now is the time for you guys to plug away. Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, RedSockFan.com. No, it's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to see if that URL is a bit not in available. You know what? Here's the thing: if if you own a small business and you actually sat through this entire podcast, <laughs> um, we're going to give you a half hour of time to to set you on the right path. Um, if you go to howtogettherefaster.com. There's a couple of questions. They're easy. Like, they're really easy. Name, like, what's your email. name? And you'll go into our calendar for a half hour of time. Uh, we can talk about your online presence, your offline, how to get, how, what's your easy button, how to make more sales, all of that stuff. You have, you have award-winning business coaches to do that. Uh, if you'd like any of our books, send us an email. Uh, go to ulofcreative.com and send us a message. You're going to have any of our books. Uh, we've got seven of them that, that hit bestseller. Uh, what else can we give them? Oh, we do a we do a small business breakthrough boot camp a couple of times a year. Uh, you can get all the details at planyourmarketing.com. 
Uh, you'll see a bunch of videos of people that'll tell you, man, you really ought to go to the boot camp. Uh, if you'd like a free ticket at Plan Your Marketing, you can sign up there. Uh, we do them virtual and we do them in person. Uh, Yankee fans, totally invited. <laughs> Come on down. Happy to help your business. You, as well. you know, here's what we found out, and and here's the thing: we've got fan, we have clients that are Yankee fans. We do. Did you know? I was amazed. New York Yankee fan money spells spends exactly the same as Boston Red Sox fan money. Yes, it does. It <laughs> all spends the same. So we're we're happy to make Yankee fans, you know. Buckets of money. We can't wait to make your business better. We'll, <laughs> you know, we'll have fun. What the heck? So there, there's, a, there's three different things um, we'd love to give all. Of, and, and you can have all of them. Feel free to go to all three websites. And we'll do all of it for you. And well, I, when I release the video, which I, sh I will be doing shortly. Look at that. Because <laughs> look, at, hey, I got a video now. So, oh my I'll, God, I'll put you know it in the I, Yeah, I'll put it in the descriptions and everything, and cool. everybody will be able to reach you through there. But, awesome. but uh, we're going to chat a little bit after I do my shout outs and everything. So, uh, now it's time for shout outs. Big shout out to my real wise family, Brandy J, Poppy J. Love you guys. Big shout out to the wife, Fina. Love you. Miss you. Hopefully you'll be back home soon. Shout out to Wise for getting his first account today. Yes. Big shout out. Let's go, Wise. Yeah. That was that was all that was an awesome feeling. And to be able to call her and tell her she was so excited. So Yes. Yeah. Proud of you. That's awesome. And as always, a big, big shout out to all the essential workers out there. God bless you. Be safe. And you know how your boy Wise does it. Peace out. Say peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Thanks for listening. Listen on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, and TuneIn. Find us on social media on Twitter at wise underscore B underscore blunt, Instagram at wise underscore B underscore blunt, and a Facebook fan page, www.facebook slash wise76. Check back soon for new episodes. Until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.